Hi guys, it's me Jen and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the little microphone here. I am testing out this mic to see if the audio, if I like it or not, while I go back to edit, so trial and error. So if you click this video, you're probably interested in tattoos and tattoo culture in Taiwan. I myself was in the same boat because I have tattoos as well. And if you're not new to my channel, then you probably already know that I lived in Japan for almost eight years and tattoo culture in Japan is very different compared to where I am from in Canada. It's always interesting to me to learn about other places and how they kind of interpret tattoos and stuff. So that curiosity brought me to this video. So not only am I going to be getting a tattoo in Taiwan, I had the pleasure of interviewing a Taiwanese tattoo artist that also tattooed in Japan while she lived there. So I kind of got to see like two sides of the coin and get her opinions and everything. And you guys are gonna get to see me go through the process of getting a tattoo here in Taiwan. If you're not interested in tattoos, or if you're one of those people who's gonna make some kind of remark, like why would you do that to your body? This is not the video for you. Abort, escape now. Before you get the feeling to type something really nasty. I actually found this tattoo artist in the video through a friend here in Taiwan who they met in Japan. So it's like all through the grapevine. It's kind of funny how small the world can be sometimes. While I was in Japan, I wanted to get another tattoo, but I decided to wait until Taiwan because I knew I was gonna move here. Just to give like a brief summary, I'm from Canada, I moved to Japan. I think I was 23 when I moved to Japan. Then I moved to Taiwan when I was 31. I think I was about 25 when I got my first tattoo, which was on my ribs. And then I have one on my shoulder and then I have one on my hip. I also have one on my back, which adds to my shoulder. And then I'm gonna get the one that's in this video. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, if you don't speak, then you won't get spoken to. People only see you when you up, then they notice you. Trying to be a legend, crazy lines is quotable. Only the real shall last, and I only know a few. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, I have made it to Taipei. You can see the tattoo shop is right behind me. It's Tattoo Studio Rays, uh, Japan, I believe. I'm here to meet Cha Cha, and she's gonna give me a nice tattoo. Lines, this time poster cool. This black and white, like photos from a disposable. Certain situations you went end up uncontrollable. All up in their head, I'll be so confused. All right, so I arrived at the tattoo shop, and um, Cha Cha is being so patient with me. I changed the design a little bit. Okay, by a little bit, I mean like a few times. Sorry, <laughs> but it's a permanent thing, so I just want to like make sure, you know. While she was just changing a little bit of things, I went to the convenience store. There is a 7 Eleven close to here. Of course I got Bacardi sweat. I feel like it helps me when I feel a little bit faint. And I've been known to feel faint after tattoos, so. After we redesigned my tattoo a little bit, Chacha went to her area to prepare for the tattooing. And I really love to see how much care and thought is put into cleaning all of the tools that will be used and protection put in place for me to lay down on the chair. They have a mirror here, so when you put your tattoo on or whatever, you can check to see if you like it. Cha Cha then shaved, sterilized my arm, and applied the stencil. You have to make it wet for the ink to transfer. I need to that you make sure again. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Okay.
Did you notice the stencil here is red and not the black or dark color that is generally associated with tattooing? Chacha mentioned to me that red is easier to see for artists when tattooing and apparently this red stencil is something fairly new in the market in the last few years. The paint is not as bad as I thought it was going to be actually, which is perfect. It's like, it's like if you just take a sewing needle and kind of push it on your skin and rub it a little bit. I don't know, is that painful? <laughs> to me it's not so painful. My ribs were like the worst, the worst tattoo I ever had. I often get people comment like, when are you gonna finish your tattoos? Because oh, <laughs> I think like, it's wrapped up. Yeah, because oh. there's no color or shading. Oh. And I'm like, they are finished. <laughs> what do you mean? What is it? It's a different needle, smaller. Oh. And also the detail more, more detail. Oh. Oh. All finished. I'm gonna check it. Chacha so gracious and in letting me interview her just a little bit for you guys and I want you guys to kind of get to know a little bit of tattoo culture I guess here in Taiwan Yes. and we're going to keep our masks on because it's you know protocol so just bear with us so thank you <laughs> I guess we can start with could you just tell me a little bit you're from Taiwan right? Yes. You're from Taiwan? Mm. Uh, I learned tattoo uh, Kyoto. in Kyoto. Ah cool nice around uh, four years ago. I four years ago, wow. <laughs> but still, you first started tattooing in Kyoto then. Yes, before I, I, I didn't went to the studio because of tattoo. I yeah. went to there because I doing some photograph. Oh, uh, like for the, the shop? Like, Photoshop and illustrator. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then you just kind of made your way into tattooing yeah. then. My boss said, maybe you want to learn tattoo. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously you have the talent to draw yeah, then, right? Yeah. Um, I have an interesting tattoo too, so yeah. I went to there. Oh, okay. How long did you study in Japan for? How many years were you in Japan? How many years? Uh, Japan? Uh, yeah. Two years, maybe. So uh, you did two years in Japan? Yeah. Maybe. And then yeah. you came back here? Yeah. Before I was learning Japanese, oh. and after I tried to find a job. Yeah. Yeah, it's all history now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have tattoos? Yeah, you have a few. A high here. Yeah. Um, small one here, but mm -hmm. not not not, not in your arms. arms. Not like me. <laughs> <laughs> Question: What do you what do you like about tattooing? Is there anything that you find is like the most interesting thing about tattooing? Tattooing, I like every every customer have yeah. their their different idea. Yeah. I don't want to do like only one design or one style. It's funny to, you know, discussing with all my customers yeah. different views and different concepts, yeah. right? Yeah. Because everyone has different concepts and different things that they like, it makes you do drawings you wouldn't normally do and then you learn something else. Like you learn something new through different styles. Yeah. Sometimes you will think, mm, these two design thing together it will be weird or yeah. not uh, when you try it finally it will be it actually turns out pretty good. good yeah do you think you have a particular style that you like because like tattoo artists are famous for sometimes their um, style yeah. right I I like do the tattoo with a simple line yeah like line work yes uh, some lettering mm -hmm. mm. but yeah I will try yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You're you, you're all around. Like you can do everything, yeah. but you prefer like that's your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your Instagram's pretty. Like the tattoos you do on your Instagram is very nice. It's open like mine. Yeah, voice. but it's beautiful. Like I seen the Ponyo one. I, uh, I thought it was really cute. I kind of want to like, cause you know I lived in Japan for a little bit. You also live in Japan. Yeah. You know, tattoo culture is a little bit different in Japan. I'm not saying it's like bad, it's just, it's different, <laughs> you know? Mm. In Japan, did you find the tattoo industry changing? I think they try to change a little because, maybe it's because Olympic. Yeah. They, thought, they think uh, they will have a lot of foreigners coming uh, here. Coming, right? So they won't be more open yes. with the tattoo. Yeah. So, as I know, uh, some onsen 
Yes. Simple. They were trying to like yeah, open up more. Open the tap to button. Yeah. So I think they tried to change. Mm -hmm. In Japan, did you find people got big body pieces or little body pieces? Or does it depend on the person? Is it depend on the person? Yeah. How about Taiwan? How about Taiwan? Because our style is more like uh, American style. Ah, uh, in Taiwan? Yeah, not like the traditional Japanese. Japanese. So people, if the customer want traditional, they will try to find another tattoo studio uh, who's doing well about a big Japanese traditional Japanese style. style. Uh, so I personally feel uh, because I have tattoos, it's more open in Taiwan tattoo culture. I feel like I can show them no problem. Yeah. Do you find like Taiwan's more open towards tattoos, like more than Japan? More than Japan, I think. Yeah. Uh, mm, like uh, my grandmom or granddad yeah. generation would no. be the same. Yeah, same tattoo. kind of thinking, I guess. Even in Japan, the younger generation, their idea of tattoos is slightly different. They think the tattoo is not so bad. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's slowly um, changing, you know. It's become like a fashion. Ah, more fashionable. Uh, Canada is definitely really open. I feel like every time I go back home to Canada, so okay. many people have tattoos. Really? The bank teller, like I go to the bank, the people working at the mm -hmm. bank, all their tattoos oh, are shiny. Yeah, yeah. In the uh, hospital. Oh yeah, I've seen like nurses and stuff. Yeah. Nice. What do you think are good points about tattooing in Japan, and good points about tattooing in Taiwan? Taiwan's customer. Yeah. They want their own tattoo would be very unique. Um, different between other people. Yeah, like very original. Yeah. Their tattoo. Yeah, so they were uh, discussing this. Discuss, yeah. With you a lot. lot. I think it's good too. Yeah. But at Japan, it's different. They were respect your design. Ah, uh, as a tattoo artist? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they won't change a lot. But they are both good, I think. Anyway, if they feel good, it's, it's their tattoo, yeah. so if they feel good, I will do that. Yeah, as long as they're happy at the end. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't know that, I just learned something new. <laughs> Dang, okay, huh, interesting. It kind of goes with how I think about restaurants. Oh, okay. So like, okay, I'm sorry, that's not about tattooing, <laughs> but when you go to a restaurant in Japan, you almost never change something because oh, the yeah. chef, you respect the chef, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. I don't know about Taiwan, but in Canada, if you don't want something, like, I don't want this, 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 can I have this, can I <laughs> change this? Yeah. What about Taiwan? Is Taiwan like Taiwan's that? more like that. Oh, okay. you, or you buy some like bubble tea. Yeah, you, you can, can request. Your sugar, yeah, your the ice, ice so everything. Yeah. Like that. Well, thank you very much for letting yeah, me thank you. interview you. <laughs> All right, I'm headed back to Shenzhen now. Just waiting for the Gautier, the HSR. It's almost 4 p.m. the next day, so it's time to take the bandage off. And very cool, I got this little mini tote from the tattoo salon, which I thought was really nice. They give you a little sticker inside, as well as instruction on how to care for your tattoo. Um, they have it in Chinese, this is a Japanese one. And then I got some after cream from them to put onto my tattoo. I feel like I'm having a little bit of a reaction to the tape because there was blisters here. Time to take it off. Oh, I have very hairy arms, so this is gonna hurt. Ooh. Ooh. There she is, now I have to go give her a rinse. So this is actually the lover's tarot card. So I have to put the lotion on um, once every like six hours, seven hours, I have to read the instructions and just a very, very thin layer. And you do it until the tattoo stops peeling because eventually the skin's gonna peel off, right? Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am currently still in the healing phase of the tattoo, but not really. Outline tattoos don't really peel that much compared to like shading and coloring because there's not so much damage. It's just the outline, if that makes sense. It's already gone through the peeling and itchy stage and now it's just kind of there. It's slightly dry, but that's okay. I just wanna say thank you so much to Cha Cha for letting me interview her. She's really shy, but she persevered and I found listening to her perspective very interesting. So the process of the whole tattoo on my arm took about two hours. Hours. 
The pain level isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The pricing is a little bit more expensive here in Taiwan than what I paid for in Japan. I'm just going to speak from my experience. So when I was in Japan, I got tattooed. Tipping wasn't a thing. And in Taiwan, I wasn't sure if tipping was a thing or not. If any Taiwanese people watching this video know about tipping culture in Taiwan, especially for tattoos, let us know down in the comment section because I'm constantly learning. Everyone else watching these videos are constantly learning about Taiwan. We would love some insight. If you have any questions that I did not answer, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. I will be there typing away, answering some questions. I might not respond so quickly, but I get around to it, you know? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you like what I'm doing on this channel, be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.